Hey, this is Hybrid Killer. Welcome back to the channel. And today I'll talk about my top five. Not in any particular order, but my top five tournament winning lures this year. And we'll start off with the pretty much the frog. See how chewed up this one is. This guy, pretty much the same color. This like a red ear. Uh, these are spro frogs. This one's all chewed up, retiring. But that that's a that one was a spro. This is a regular spro bonsai frog. And this is the spro bonsai spit shad. And uh, this guy, awesome, awesome hookup ratio. And I also caught my personal best on this guy. But why well, this guy made it top five is this guy in the morning. I usually throw a buzz bait. But usually this year, um, for some reason, the frog has been producing really good. Maybe because of all the flooded water. But the frog is really good and also a big fish bait. So the frog, check it out. Next, we got, I throw a, a lot of shaky head. I throw it on this. A frenzy nail head. Shaky head, the frenzy nail. This guy, I mean, kind of unique head. It's supposed to stand up like that. You see that? So I usually put like a trick worm. I like a trick worm or a bottom hopper. You can put a big bottom hopper off if you want. This is a eight inch bottom hopper by Power Bait with scent. You could put a robo worm on. And what I like about this guy is like it's weird how this year I could get largemouth to hit a shake head, but I can't get smallmouth to hit a shake head. So what I do is I just take one of my Cinco, like rip it off in half like that, right? And then just hook it on. Like that. Boom. Kind of like a different bait, but look at that. This is my Ned. Nobody knows how what kind of Ned I throw. But I usually throw a, a 3 8 ounce. No, 3 16 ounce. And this is a quarter, but I would even throw a quarter if I throw it deep. Like, you know, 17 to 25 foot. And I throw on big line too, like 10 to like 14 pound uh, line. So, but this guy produced well this year. And that's why he made it to the top five. But check it out, Frenzy Head. I mean, I just throw on like a Cinco, any Cinco works. And keep your Cinco, just use the other half. Um, the other guy is Jerk Baits. So if you guys follow the channel, you guys know we throw a lot of Jerk Baits. But I mean, this is my box of Jerk Baits, so look whole bunch of jerk baits these are just knockoff each one tens but you know they throw really well and they run pretty great but I mean I carry Ito like there's a Ito the uh, there's a Ito one ten the FX one these I mean I even you know if you match the hatch Give me a second. To match the hatch, you could throw this, you know, uh, Lucky Craft. This is like a SP a 78. This is in the DD model on uh, table rock color. But to match the hatch, you could throw something small like that. I mean, it's just just loaded with jerk baits, all sorts of color. You know, crayfish color. These are custom painted. But custom color when they're on orange, you know, a bunch. Hmm, pick. 
pick up some down here. Let's see, a plus three Mega Bass Eto 110 R plus three, not even available yet. And um, plus twos, and I usually upgrade all these hooks on my jerkbait. I run a, uh, a owner six size six, and all these jerk baits, even on the Mega Bass hook, I check them, change them out. These are some of the best hooks for the you know sharpest and best hooks so far. Don't usually straighten these hooks, so I do that to all my jerk bait, even these cheap guys. I mean, they get all owners, so. If you look at this bait, this bait here is about you know three dollar worth of hooks, two fifty three dollar worth of hooks, and the bait is already seven dollars itself. And this is a um, like or um, a lucky e strike Rick Clum special the STX. We talk about this guy a lot, and this is in the purple midnight purple or something. Awesome color for Smomo. Yeah, that's why this get. That's why the jerk bait. I mean, I carry it all year, so the jerk bait's like one of the top five. And then the next one is just a regular swim bait. Can't beat the swim bait. Um, for you guys that throw a lot of swim bait, this is the striking um, squadron head, and then that's just a striking. Um, I think it's a three point three three. 0.75 or something but yeah that squadron head man that, that's a stout hook you can't really straighten those hooks and when you get hung up you don't usually get them back but for you guys that are out there and want to try something new I mean you just put on a structure bug on the same head and chuck in and wind it the same get a lot of bite like this too but my favorite swim baits I mean, I throw our spark shads. I mean, a little bit of the spark shad, but I usually throw them on a um, ball head. Um, you know, small kitex. See more kitex. Um, even the striking ones. But give it a try. I mean, land a whole bunch of good fish on it this year that actually came in. You know, just one key bite on a swim bait, especially in clear water. Um, and then the last and not least, I think the most powerful of my techniques this year was a big, like a big power worm, yeah. like a big power worm or a, um, you know, old monster worm. See? Yeah. And I rigged these guys up on a fiat. Just on a fiat, take out your worm like that. Your fiat hook here. This is what I use. Wherever, it, oh here it is. This is what I use. The Gama, the Gama Gatsu one. But you have to have the O'Shaughnessy right here. These are the O'Shaughnessy. Like it's not just a regular bend. It's kind of like a white, like a EWG hook has a more of a bend here than a round bend but the thing about here is once the fish is hooked they have a harder time to come off because it's a smaller bite here so I throw these guys and throw it on a worm hook because your gap is a lot bigger than the EWG hook which the point is lined up to the eye of the hook which you have no gap so you have a half gap here like that and hooker ratio goes up the roof so to rig these guys, you keep there's a flat side on the worm. You want to go down the flat side, or go in the center of the worm, out the flat side, and go all the way through. Twist it, come out, and then pick where it's gonna come out at, like right here. Then run it through, up and over and text pose it because you can leave the hook shank inside of the worm but if you text pose it your hook ratio just goes up like that boom perfect and that's money i throw it on mainly 
a half ounce that's a half ounce and then if it's a little shallow water I'll throw it on a 3 8 or 3 16 but those are the guys I mean I won most of it turn on a big worm I mean you could flip a big worm into cover I mean grass I mean I flipped it into grass and catch fish drag it through rock pile and catch fish um, but mainly brush pile brush pile is key with this bait won like three tournaments this year on big worm but that's pretty much it that's five that is five that's my five uh, let me know what you guys think um, subscribe to our channel we, we're coming out with a whole bunch of baits a uh, whole bunch of techniques uh, part of like electronic boat fixing uh, kayak upgrades everything so subscribe to the channel give us a thumbs up and hit that notification bell so you get every video that's coming out all right see you guys bye hey everybody thanks for watching but stop freeloading we need you guys to hit the subscribe button the like button and the bell and be sure to follow us on instagram and facebook and we'll see you guys on the next one